In this video, we'll be going over creating and responding to RFIs. From the project home screen, navigate to the RFI tool. To create a new RFI, click the orange Create RFI button on the right side of the screen. On this screen, you can fill in all the information associated with the RFI. Procore requires four fields to be filled out, subject, assigned to, due date, and question. To begin, we'll define the RFI subject here. If you need to save the RFI as a draft to work on or send out at a later time, you can check the draft RFI box. A draft RFI can be assigned to the next RFI number, or you can choose to assign it a number later on. Next, let's assign the RFI. You can also set a due date, but Procore will automatically designate one regardless. If the RFI assignee does not reply to the RFI by the due date, Procore can automatically send overdue email notifications on your behalf. The responsible contractor and question received from fields are intended to be used as a logging and reporting tool. This can either be the company and or person that originally asked the RFI, or who needs to be notified when the RFI is answered. By filling out either or both of these fields, you're able to generate reports based on RFIs by contractor and quickly distribute an answered RFI back to the contractor. Please note, a vendor and or person entered into either of these fields will not be copied on any of the RFI emails. To include other team members on all correspondence concerning the RFI, add them to the distribution list here. Distribution list members are able to comment on the RFI via the new RFI email they receive. You can associate the RFI with the specs section here. You can even indicate any potential schedule impacts or cost impacts associated with the RFI. You also have the option to mark the RFI as private, which will hide the RFI from everyone except users with an admin permission on the RFI tool, the assignee, and users on the distribution list. Lastly, let's ask our question. If necessary, you can add attachments either from your computer or from multiple areas in Procore, photos from the Photos tool, files from the Documents tool, and drawings from the Drawings tool. Click Create and Procore will automatically send an email notification on your behalf to the assignee and distribution list, letting them know that an RFI has been created. Now let's take a look at the new RFI email the assignee and distribution members received. There are three ways to respond to a Procore RFI. First, a user can click the View Online link and respond to the RFI directly in Procore. Second, a user can respond to the RFI on Procore's iOS or Android mobile applications. And third, the easiest way to respond is to simply reply to this email with the answer, just as you would with any other email. Whichever route is taken, Procore will automatically log the response along with any attachments. The response will shift the ball in court back to the RFI creator and will automatically notify everyone on the distribution list by email. Admin permissioned users can now review the RFI, mark the official response, and close the RFI if they see fit. If necessary, admins can also reassign the RFI to a new person by clicking the Edit button and changing the assignee. Thanks for watching.